Hey Mermeco team, today we're diving into an incredible and formidable species, the famous Pogona Mermex barbatus, also known as the red harvester ant. A fascinating species, highly aggressive but also very demanding in captivity. So is this species right for you? Stick around until the end to find out everything you need to know. First, some context. Pogona Mermex barbatus originates from the southwestern United States and northern Mexico. It thrives in arid environments, deserts, dry grasslands, pine and oak forests, and even riverbanks up to 1,850 meters in altitude. In short, it's perfectly adapted to extreme conditions. Now let's talk about size. These ants are tough. The queen measures around 11 millimeters, while workers range from 7 to 9.5 millimeters. They have a robust build, a massive head, and powerful mandibles, and trust me, they mean business. Their behavior is highly aggressive. They attack anything near their nest and can take down prey much larger than themselves. Their venom is extremely potent, a very painful sting that can cause severe allergic reactions, with pain lasting up to six hours. Definitely not an ant species for everyone, but Pogonomamex barbatus isn't just a war machine. It plays a key role in its ecosystem, actively dispersing seeds, promoting plant germination, and even hosting symbiotic insects and fungi. A true nature engineer. Now let's talk food. These ants are primarily granivorous. In the wild, their diet consists of 60% seeds, 35% insects, and a small amount of sugary liquids collected from succulents. In captivity, they need a varied mix of seeds, live or dead insects, and a little homemade nectar substitute. What about reproduction? Their nuptial flights take place in summer, between July and August, in massive, spectacular swarms. Their foundation is theoretically claustral, but some queens may venture out occasionally to forage if needed. Development is quick. At 28 degrees Celsius, it takes around six weeks for an egg to become an adult worker. Now let's talk about captive care. This is not a beginner species. Ideal daytime temperatures range from 26 to 28 degrees Celsius, dropping to 22 to 24 degrees Celsius at night. Humidity should be kept between 40 and 60% inside the nest. For founding, a test tube with substrate is recommended. As the colony grows, a cellular concrete nest is ideal since it allows seed storage. Some keepers opt for a terrarium setup, but it's quite challenging. One crucial aspect, diapause. This species requires a four-month diapause from late November to late March at 18 degrees Celsius. During this time, the colony slows down and you should avoid disturbing them unnecessarily. Now the big question, is this species for everyone? Absolutely not. Pogona Meyermex barbatus is difficult to raise and not recommended for beginners. With their aggression, rapid growth, and significant space requirements, they demand strict management. And let's not forget, their sting is dangerous, definitely not suitable if you have children or curious pets. So, do you feel ready to take on the challenge of keeping Pogona Meyermex barbatus? Let me know in the comments if this species interests you or if you've already tried raising them. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and most importantly, subscribe so you don't miss out on more fascinating ant content. See you soon, Mirmeko team.